I could see Nave and Mu inside. I assumed that they were preparing for the reconstruction. Through the glass, I could see Henri's office. Nico and I had a good idea who the killer was. Now all we had to do was persuade Nave. Sir, I already tried starting it up. I, I think it's broken. Nonsense, Moo. This machine has the power of ten investigators. But investigators never fail to start up, sir. Your pessimism is duly noted, Moo. But have faith. This machine will analyze the scene, compute the data, and deduce everything for us. The location of the second shooter will be a mystery no more. <clears throat> One moment. A marvel indeed, sir. Though, at the moment, it is kaput. Your pessimism has obviously infected the circuitry, Moo. Let me think for a moment. If I could just... Shh! Eh bien, Moo, now try realigning the laser matrix. Sir, I have no idea what that is. Move over, Moo. Now, let me see. Oscillating reverberator. Check. Refraction spectrometer. Check. Now, what can I do? Ah, Monsieur Stobacht, it's only you. Glad you could finally make it. Inspector, I've got some good news and some bad news. Oh, yes? I shall be the judge of that. I think I know who the killer is. Really? Yep, he's a gardener called Shears living in London. Fascinating. And the good news? We don't need to do your reconstruction. You joke with me, Monsieur Stabat. It's not a joke. This guy Shears was working for a Russian ex-mobster. It's all part of a highly complex fraud. Gardeners. KGB. Fraud. You are a fantasist, monsieur. And I have no time for fantasy. Reality is my suitcase, as you Americans say. Now, stand over there and keep out of trouble until the others arrive. Well, who are we waiting for? Mademoiselle Collard and Father Simeon. Please, I am very busy. Ah, Moo, a clever choice. But no cigar for you. Try the red. Mon Dieu! It was pointless trying to get a closer look at the machine while Nave and Mu were tinkering with it. Lane. Stobart. What's the deal with that device over there? It's a farce. They've been trying to get it working for hours. Looks like something out of a 50s sci-fi movie. It probably is. What do you think of Nave? The man is a buffoon. I have better things to do than wait for these idiots to get their forensic whatnot to work. The only silver lining is that Nave seems more annoyed than I am. What do you think of Moo? Who? The policeman with Nave. I assume he's another idiot. Why is that? I believe one can tell a man by the company he keeps. I'll bear that in mind, Mr. Lane. I gather you're the man to ask about the provenance for the painting. For La Maledixio? Well, you have been busy, haven't you, Stobart? I'd like to see it. So speak to Bijou. She took care of the business side of the gallery. The provenance is in the office safe. She has the key. 
Lane was a pushover when you had him cornered. Though it looked like Bijou hadn't been completely honest with me after all. I needed to pay her another visit. Okay, thanks. Yes, yes. Sir, I think we are ready to fire her up. Yes, I was just about to say the same thing. Do it. What have you done? Pardon me, sir, but I believe it was you who said... This is no time for blame. You have broken the machine. Mon dieu. Stupid. Monsieur Stobart, you will not leave until this is over. Understood? But I just need to... This is a reconstruction. You will remain here until I have concluded my investigations. Do I make myself clear? Okay, okay, clear. I considered making a run for it, but forcing Mu to chase me would have been cruel. And it would have been silly to risk my investigation. Better to play along with Nave and get the reconstruction over as quickly as possible. Inspector Nave. Have you been a detective long? Long enough, monsieur. You've solved a lot of crimes, I guess. More than you have had hot dinners. Well, I've had a lot of hot dinners, Inspector. Oh, yes? How many? What? Precisely how many hot dinners have you had, monsieur? I don't know. Uh, thousands? You prove my point for me, monsieur. Precision and accuracy are everything. You truly are a unique and amazing man, Inspector Nave. Well, I'm glad you are impressed. What seems to be the problem? Monsieur Stobart, if Paris' finest cannot get this very expensive and very complex machine to work, then I doubt if an insurance salesman can... I'm an insurance assessor, actually. Oh, I see. Well, la di da to you, monsieur. Oh, yeah? Well, la di da to you back. Hmm, whatever. You are neither qualified nor clever enough to operate such an instrument. Like us. What was that, Moo? I said, uh, unlike us, sir. I was sure I could get the machine to work if I could just get Nave out of the way. Excuse me. Please, monsieur, I'm a little busy. Inspector Nave. I know this sounds obvious, but are you sure it's plugged in? Monsieur Stobart, do you really think I would be so stupid as to not check the fundamentals? We all make mistakes. What a ridiculous generalization, monsieur. Look, I can see from here it's... Ah. Do you need assistance, sir? Very funny, Mo. One moment. That got rid of him. Now is my chance. I was going to have to figure that out quickly. Time to get the show on the road.
See, Mu? I knew I would get it working. I'm not sure that you... Precisely. You knew my superior intellect would win through in the end. Yes, sir. Sir, I beg your pardon, but I think there is a teeny snack. Go. Go on. We have no victim. Good God, Mu. Are you suggesting I kill someone for the sake of this reenactment? No, sir. Just saying we need a body, sir. Ah, yes. I see. You'll make a detective yet, Mu. I, of course, foresaw this. And I nominate... You. Me? Well, I'm not dead. Have you ever acted, Monsieur Stobart? Well, I... <laughs> Don't like to blow my own trumpet, but I went down a storm playing the lead in Cat on a Felt-Tip Roof last summer. Hmm. You played the cat? Uh, no. So, not the lead. half truths again, monsieur. Nevertheless, here is your chance to play a real lead role. But he looks nothing like the victim, sir. Oh, damn it, Moo. Must you find problems all the time? Let me think of a way to make this work. Relying on Nave's problem-solving skills could mean a long, long wait. I had to find something to make me more like Henri. I'll have a look around. Maybe I'll find something. Yes, you do that. Very similitude is the key, Stobart. Ah, you have arrived at last. Please, make yourselves comfortable. We are just making some last-minute adjustments. Father Simeon, Nico. Hi, Josh. Welcome to the asylum. Let me guess. Nave is overjoyed we've solved the case and is putting us up for an award. Mm, not quite. I told him about Shears and Madofsky. He says it's fantasy. But that's crazy! Tell me about it. So what do we do now? Carry on anyway, and nail Madofsky. What about Nave? Ignore him. And this charade? The reconstruction? Well, sooner it starts, sooner it's over. Josh, what on earth is that machine? It's Nave's baby. Supposedly, it's going to analyze the crime scene and tell us what happened. But we already know what happened. Sure we do. But Nave doesn't. Quiet! Please! How can I concentrate with all this racket going on? Lane was right. Nave was an idiot. Hey, Nico. What's new? Not much since we last spoke, George. Hello, Father. Mr. Stobart, will this take long? I'm not sure. Nave appears to be struggling with the machine. I'll pray for some divine intervention, then. Yeah, if you think that'll help. The Lord is always listening, George. The best place to find Henri's things was in his office. Some of the stuff must have been collecting dust since the 70s. Yeah, it was certainly nothing of any use. It was a statue of Henri. It was a battered sofa. The desk was covered with Henri's junk, and none of it was of any use.
The desk was covered, and none of it was available. Henri's notice board was covered with all kinds of junk. The poster was for the 1975 Stockholm Summer of Love Festival. A 1600cc Type 2 VW camper, painted in hippie colors. It was a pretty flamboyant looking clock. The CCTV camera watched over the gallery, though it no longer seemed to be recording. It was a hookah pipe. Those things gave me a headache. Henri's guitar. Poor man would never play it again. I opened the compartment again. Using a paper clip to pick this lock would have been very impressive, if it had worked. Now that was a safe. No way I'd be able to pick it. Empty bottles. The window looked out on the street. Outside, it was quiet. The woman in the picture looked vaguely familiar. I still needed to find something to make me look more like Henri. On the head of the statue was a pair of Henri's glasses. Maybe, just maybe, the glasses would make me look like Henri. I found these glasses of Henri's. Stole or found? Never mind. That might just do it. Come on, everyone, into position. I want everyone to stand precisely where they were when the victim died. This process is ridiculous. God moves in mysterious ways, Father. Indeed. And the devil makes work for idle hands, Mr. Stobart. Shh! Stobart, you are supposed to be dead. Please be dead more quietly. 
I tried to tell Nave the truth about his bloodstain. Didn't he believe you? You're a man of God. His faith is in science, Mr. Stobart, not God. Father? Yes, my son. Do you think Inspector Nave will ever figure this out? I'm not sure, although I'm no expert. Yeah, neither is he by the looks of it. Do you think the machine will give the inspector some insight into Henri's murder? He will find the answers he seeks, but he asks the wrong questions. This was no ordinary murder. Last time we met, you said the stolen painting was evil. Let me explain. I'm a Dominican, Mr. Stobart. The Dominican Order was founded to seek out and destroy heresy. Why? Because heresy is evil. Okay. For a thousand years we have fought against heresy. Indeed, our enemies gave us a nickname, the Hounds of God. Dominicanis, Dominican, you see? Very clever. Now this painting, the Manedictio, is without doubt heretical. Whoa, ho hold on. How can a painting be heretical? Because it is filled with Gnostic imagery. And Gnostics are heretics. What kind of imagery? Evil imagery. The Ouroboros, the snake eating its tail. Images of false saints, heretical saints. So you think the painting itself is evil? It trails murder in its wake, Mr. Stobart. And murder is police work, monsieur. Silence, please, both of you. You keep talking about the Gnostics. Who are they? They are a cult, a warped branch of Christianity that reveres Lucifer as equal to, or perhaps greater than, God. I can see how that might trouble the Vatican. The Vatican is the least of your worries. Please be quiet! The Ouroboros, what exactly is it? It is a Gnostic symbol. It marks something that is hidden. There are trees illustrated within the Ouroboros. They symbolize knowledge. So the Ouroboros alludes to hidden knowledge. The painting must be destroyed to stop this knowledge being revealed. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. That is the first set of results completed. Only 36 more to do. Please remain in position while we reset the machine. You may relax and talk amongst yourselves. Who are these false saints? Gnostic saints, not beatified by the church. They question orthodoxy, lure the unwary down dark paths of forbidden knowledge and condemn innocent souls to the fires of damnation. You mean like a Black Sabbath album? Vade Retro Satana. What's the matter? It is worse than I thought. What is it? It's just a sketch. Not just a sketch. The painting. I wondered if it was something I'd said. I have to get out of here. Now. Father Simeon, I forbid you to leave. This is an official investigation. Don't you understand? A great evil is upon us. Painting is evil. The heretical Gnostics in league with the devil himself. The devil? Don't you understand? The tabula veritatis, the tablet of truth. It is real. Well, well, someone is upset. Pressing your witnesses a little too hard, Inspector Neve. And you are? 
This is official police business. Richard Langham, Interpol, serious art theft. We spoke on the phone, Inspector? Ah, yes, sir. Um, oh. you didn't say you would be attending my crime scene. What exactly is this machine, Inspector? <laughs> A little invention of mine, Monsieur Langham. It will compute whose blood this is on the floor, and... Not to worry, Inspector. Perhaps you could move aside? I'm intrigued to see what you're up to. Ah, of course. It is rather groundbreaking. Pizza box. Hmm. It looks like your suspect was a Hawaiian, Inspector. A Hawaiian? Mon Dieu! Mou! Get on to the Hawaiian Embassy straight away. There is a surf killer on the loose. Alert the airports and the surf shops. Sorry, Inspector. I mean, Hawaiian pizza. Your blood stain is a pizza sauce. Pizza? Moo! You fool! Forget the surf shops. Get on to the Italian Embassy. This has mafia written all over it. Now, nah, Inspector, if you don't mind, I'd like to speak to your witnesses. And in the meantime, perhaps you should try and get your priest back. Madame Collard, Mr. Stobart, I assume. Can I buy you chaps a coffee? Langham sound a little more on the ball. Maybe he'd bring a dose of common sense to the case. So, Inspector Nave brought me up to speed and told me about you guys. I can guess what he said. But what's your interest in the robbery? I've been tracking a gang of art thieves for some time, and this looked like a good lead. But Nave is worse than useless. I was hoping you might be able to help. We're flattered. Just doing our jobs. We all are, or at least trying to. So, maybe we can help each other. I gather you insured the exhibition. That's right, and uh, we're liable to lose a packet. Any leads so far? Maybe. There's a Russian guy called Madovsky who turns out to be the owner of the painting. Madovsky? You know him? Oligarch, oil, art, aluminium. Ex-KGB. Very nasty. You need to be careful. Madovsky's dangerous. He kills anyone who gets in his way. For a cop, Langham seemed okay. Trouble with doing deals with cops, there's usually a payback down the line. But I figured that'd be a price worth paying to bring down Madovsky. We found evidence that links Madovsky to the company that installed the security at the gallery. Hmm. Interesting. And one of his men, Guy called Shears, was in Paris on the day of the robbery. Really? We also found a letter from someone called Gainan wanting to buy the painting from Madovsky. Gainan? The name rings a bell? Did you find anything else about him? No, nope, we were in a hurry. What about the priest? Ah, the good Father Simeon. Well, something spooked him, that's for sure. So I gather. He kept saying La Maledizio was evil. Perhaps he's right. It certainly caused evil, hasn't it? I'll take leads from anyone, Mr. Stobart, even a crazy priest. Let's keep in touch. Thank you for your help. Coffee's on me, or rather, on Interpol. Ms. Collard, Mr. Stobart. So, George, what do you think? Interesting. He seems to be on top of things. I agree. You know, Nico, this could start getting dangerous. You think Langham's right about Madovsky? Well, he appears to be on the ball. 
I thought he was cute. He was English, Nico. They're all cute to you. <laughs> he done depths, too. Oh, yeah? Well, what about my hidden depths? You showed me those long ago, Georges. Well, I'm off home to write up the story so far. You? I have to see a woman about a dog. A stuffed dog, that is. You're talking riddles again, Georges. I need to pay Bijou another visit. She's not been completely honest with me. Bijou had told me she didn't have anything to do with the business. But Lane said the opposite. One of them was lying. Bijou, it's George again. The air was heavy with incense and alcohol. Reminded me of the old alma mater. What happened? Josh, please help me. I am lost. Help me, you must help me. What's wrong, Bijou? I can't play our song. I've lost Henri and now our song. You mean the record? How did it happen? I stumbled and trod on it by mistake. What song was it, Bijou? I'm lost without it. Lost, lost. The name of the song, Bijou. Jasmine. It was our song. I'll see what I can do. Who sang the song? My darling Henri, of course. We've got to number two in the Swedish charts. I was so proud. Get me another one, Georges. Oh, please tell me you will. I guess I can try. Oh, you're a darling. I felt terrible. I was anything but a darling. All I was really after was the key to the safe. Please help me. Bijou's favorite record was smashed beyond repair. There was no way it could be fixed. There was no record on the turntable. Bijou had been at the Champagne in a big way. The Jostics had finally burned down, but the air was still thick with incense. Bijou? Henri? Oh, you're not Henri. Lane tells me you've got the provenance, that you did all the paperwork for the gallery. Oh, dear. My head is going round and round and round. Bijou, I need to know. All the papers are in the safe. In the gallery office. Stop asking all these questions. Bijou, where's the key to the safe? Henri? You're not Henri. I'm keeping the key just like Henri asked. Could I borrow that key, please? Oh, I need my tune. Nothing else matters. I couldn't get any sense out of her in that state. I had to find a way to get the safe key. She'd had enough to drink already. Does this smell good to you? Oi, is that you, my sweet? Look, Bijou, I brought Henri's glasses. Oh, Henri, what will I do without you? I didn't think there was much point. Bijou wasn't in any state to make sense. I didn't think there was much point. 
Bijou. I didn't. Bijou. I didn't. Bijou. Would you like a rich tea? Tea? I don't need tea. I need champagne. It's not. Uh, never mind. I didn't want trip. I didn't think. Be. I didn't. Be. I didn't. Be. Please help me. The jaw sticks, but the air was still thick with incense. Several bottles were lined up on the table. The small stuffed dog had pride of place on the table. Its little face reminded me of Henri. Its coat even matched his hair. Some dogs really do look like their owners. That wasn't worth trying. Henri looked very much at peace. Stealing a flower from a corpse. How low had I sunk? Look at this lovely white flower. Oh, Henri, what will I do without you? Bijou? Henri? Oh, you're not Henri. Bijou, where's the key to the safe? Oh, I need my tune. Nothing else matters. Please help me. There was no reaction from Bijou. Ina Kleinenach music was clearly not what she wanted to hear. Tony's. Look like a good place to take Nico. It was another part of town that was alive with cafes. I arrived back at the shopping arcade. Hey, Bassam, how's business? Good to see you, George. Gotta say, the new branding's hitting the demographic right between the eyes. Sold anything? This is a soft market, George. Look to the margins. Look to the margins. What's your latest bargain? Bargain? I prefer the word incentivizer, George. Look at the store. Something for everyone, and everything for someone. Any other bargains? Got a batch of phone covers. Let me guess. Rhinestones? Got it in one. But Sam wouldn't want to see that. But Sam wouldn't want to see that. I didn't think there was much point.
he probably wouldn't care. Thank you. I had a closer look at Bassam's stock. Check it out, George. I've had quite a stock update, and I've got to say the metrics on some of this stuff is startling. They looked interesting. A stack of those cards that play music when you open them. They looked interesting. A stack. George, what can I do for you? Does one of your cards play the song Jasmine? Hmm, sounds familiar. Let me check the database. I think that's by the Hairy Lobsters. Bassam certainly knew his stock. Aha! Here it is. How much? It's yours. If you mention my shop to three other people. Done. Thanks. Thank you. The door was locked. Yes? Bijou, it's George again. How about this card? It plays the tune. Oh, so... Oh, how wonderful! Dance with me, Henri. Bijou? Henri? Oh, you're not Henri. Is that better? Yes, but where is Henri? I want to dance with Henri. Can I have the key to the safe? Henri, is that you? You're not Henri. I need Henri to dance with me. I'd have more luck persuading her if I looked like Henri. Look, Bijou, I brought Henri's glasses. Oh, Henri, what will I do without you? Look at this lovely white flower. Oh, Henri, what will I do without you? Does this smell good to you? Henri, is that you, my sweet? About the provenance. No talking, sweetie. Just dancing. She only wanted Henri. Short of a seance, what could I do? I didn't think there was much point. Bijou wasn't in any state to make sense. I didn't think there was much Bijou. I didn't Bijou. Just dance with me. Bijou? Henri? Oh, Henri, just dance with me. The small stuffed dog had pride of place on the table. Its little face reminded me of Henri. Its coat even matched his hair. Some dogs really do look like their owners. That wouldn't work.
Henri looked very much at peace. That wasn't worth trying. It was the pair of glasses I'd taken from Henri's statue. It was the flower from Henri's lapel. It was the old coin from Madofsky's library. I'd forgotten to replace it. Henri looked very much at peace. That wouldn't make any sense. That wasn't worth trying. That was never going to work. Bijou's favorite record was smashed beyond repair. I found myself at Bijou's well-equipped dressing table. I added Henri's glasses. I looked more and more like a gallery owner. Time to bring Henri back to life. Henri had more facial hair than me. I needed a brown goatee. I added Henri's flower to my buttonhole. The jasmine definitely gave me that perfect hippie vibe. Getting there, but I needed a little more. Henri's hair was darker than mine. I daubed some rouge on my cheeks. How about a little blue? I looked nothing like Henri. I decided to clean my face and start again. I grabbed a strip. Prepare for wax. Lots of cotton buds. Always handy for oiling machinery. I didn't want it on my eyes, but perhaps a slight Dusting. My hair was now the same color as Henri's. Mm, looking good, but not quite there yet. Henri had more facial hair than me. I needed a brown goatee. My hair was already covered in this stuff.
I once painted my toenails with my mother's varnish. Still not sure why that made her cry so much. Hairbrush. I prefer a comb myself. My mouth, sadly devoid of facial hair. I cleaned my face before getting up. Sorry, little fella. I'll see you in Rio. With my mouth firmly closed, I added the wax strip to my upper lip. Instant goatee. Getting there, but I needed a little more. Henri's hair was darker than mine. It was working, but I needed something else. It was hard to see the color of Henri's eyes behind the glasses. I added Henri's glasses. I looked more and more like a gallery owner. Mmm, looking good but not quite there yet. I needed to flower power my outfit. I added Henri's flower to my buttonhole. The jasmine definitely gave me that perfect hippie vibe. Getting there, but I needed a little more. I had the outfit exactly, but I needed something extra to ensnare the senses. I added Henri's breath to my disguise, made my eyes water. There. As I looked into the mirror, I saw Henri looking back at me. Henri, there you are, you naughty boy. Dance with me, my little roll mop. I've missed you. With pleasure, Cherie. Henri, isn't this wonderful? Just like old times. Darling, I need the safe key. Do you have it? Of course. Didn't I promise? Here it is, sweetie. Better let her sleep. I had the key. And besides, I wanted to get my hands on that letter of provenance. I was surprised to see Father Simeon at the cafe. George, a moment, if you please. Is everything all right, Father? No, my son. Not at all. Great 
evil is upon us. That sketch you showed me in the gallery, the study from La Maledictio, it showed an image hidden inside the Ouroboros, a dangerous image. Dangerous? The symbol represents a heresy, an object that the Gnostics call the Tabula Veritatis. The Tablet of Truth? It is a tablet of lies, a tool of Lucifer. Tell me more about this Tabula Veritatis. It is an artifact capable of undoing the whole of creation. It was smuggled out of the Holy Land millennia ago, and brought to Europe by the Cathars, an evil Gnostic cult. In 1209, the Church launched a glorious crusade in the Cathar heartlands of southern France. We wiped out almost all the Cathars, and with them, the evil that is Gnosticism. My order, the Dominicans, were formed at that time to seek out and eradicate any remaining Gnostics. But we failed in our primary objective. We did not find the Tabula Veritatis. We presumed it lost, but the painting suggests it is still in Gnostic hands. How is La Melodexio connected to all this? I believe it contains clues that point to the location of the tablet. Clues constructed for a Gnostic to solve. If someone were to decrypt the painting and find the Tabula Veritatis, who knows what evil would be unleashed upon the world. So, you're suggesting that this image of the Tabula Veritatis is hidden in the Ouroboros on the painting? It is obvious now. The Ouroboros is a symbol of the Gnostics, and the tree it contained symbolized knowledge, hidden Gnostic knowledge. Were the Cathars all killed? All that came forward to fight, but like a weed, their roots were deep. We did not fully destroy their evil. I still don't get why the Gnostics are so evil. They see God as simply the creator of the physical world, and reveal Lucifer as the lord of the spiritual realm. Wow. What's so terrible about this tablet? What, what does it do? Shh. Like Lucifer himself, the Gnostics could be anywhere. We must talk somewhere more private. Well, thank you, Father. That was some story. Be careful. Guard this knowledge. There are those who would do anything to find the tabula. Please excuse me, I have to get back to the gallery. I will remain here and follow you when no one is looking. I have more I must tell you. I had to get into the gallery and find the provenance, but I was really looking forward to hearing what else Father Simeon had to tell me. The door was locked. Time to look in the safe. I opened the compartment again. The ring had an inscription, Henri and Bijou forever. Huh. Henri had bought Bijou a big diamond ring. I had a feeling the ring would be useful. A note was attached to the front of a document wallet. It read, Sherry, this should do the trick. Your darling Wilfie. Now why would Hobbes be sending romantic little notes to Bijou? That had to be the elusive provenance. It clearly stated that Madofsky was the owner, but 
I'd learned never to take things at face value. I had to take a closer look at this. At first glance, the provenance looked authentic, but something wasn't right. A list of previous owners all the way back to the 30s. A letterhead from a fancy London auction house and Lane's signature. It certainly looked the part. A list of previous, a letter, it certainly looked the part. The handwritten note read, Cherie, this should do the trick, your darling Wilfie. Seemed like Hobbes and Bijou were on quite intimate terms. The two documents didn't match. The two documents didn't match. The two documents didn't match. The two documents. The two documents didn't match. The two documents didn't match. That wouldn't help explain why the provenance felt odd. The two documents didn't match. The two documents. The two documents. The two doc The two do The two doc The two The two The two The sketch was drawn on similar paper to the provenance. The coffee cup stains matched exactly, as did the tear. The provenance must have been created by Hobbes. It was a fake, which meant Madofsky wasn't the true owner.
I had to get out there and find out what happened. The door wouldn't open. Something was blocking it from the other side. The glass was reinforced for sure. I wouldn't be able to smash it and it wasn't going to open. But there had to be a way of getting through it. The diamond ring was just what I needed to cut through the glass. The gallery looked totally empty. At first glance, I couldn't see the cause of the disturbance. Father? No sticks. You must stop them. Who did this, Simeon? Don't let them. The tablet. They are going to raise the devil. Lucifer himself. Those were his last words. First Henri, now Simeon. Who was behind this? And what was Simeon trying to tell me? Simeon had been carrying a scan of an old manuscript with a covering note. Both were written in Latin. It was a photocopy of an old Latin text. Although a bit rusty, my Latin was still up to the job. It read, And thus spoke the accused. In this ritual we find succor. Clad in blue, the perfecti take the form of the spiritual and look towards the rising sun, toward the tree of knowledge. Clad in green, the credentes look the other way, towards the setting sun, where stands the tree of life. And all shall know that the light of knowledge is blue and that the light of life is green. For thus was the light of Eden, both blue and green, intertwined with the light of man to become pure. Pure light, white light, pure light will win. So it was written in the old texts, affirmed by the tabula veritatis. And these were the accused's last words. It was powerful stuff. I wondered how it connected to La Maledixio. Fortunately, I hadn't forgot the Latin I'd learned at school. The note read, The tabula veritatis only appears in one file. The Inquisition into Heretical Depravity by Nicholas Emmerich, A.D. 1376. Scan attached. The note was signed by the Vice Prefect of the Vatican Archives. Simeon must have done some digging after he recognized the symbol on Hobbes' sketch. The illustration showed a group of colored figures engaged in some sort of ritual. The blue and green figures appeared to be in control. The crowd in the foreground were colored red. I guessed it was a representation of the ritual in the text. My God, what have you done? Huh? I know this looks like... Like you've been caught red-handed. Excuse me. Josh, something terrible has happened at the apartment. Nico, hang on. Lane, it's not what it looks like. Murdering a priest, Stobart? Is there no end to your depravity? It's a simple misunderstanding. Look, I need to go. I'll be at Nico's apartment. Nico! In here. Georges. I thought you were being attacked. When I arrived, there was someone here. He rushed me, knocked me down. Did you get a look at him? No. It happened so quick. 
And then he was gone. What a mess. This blood. Where's Marquez? I don't know. He must be badly hurt. Or dead. Not another killing. What do you mean? I just came from the gallery. Father Simeon's been shot. My God! Who did it? I don't know. But before he died, he begged me to stop the Gnostics from raising the devil. The devil? Whoever's doing the killing, Georges, it's certainly not him. Okay, but who? Simeon and Marquez were both attacked at the same time. Just what are we up against? I don't know. But whoever came here was looking for something. The place has been ransacked. I'm going to clean up. I'll be back in a minute. Okay, I'll take a look around. 